Hello friends, today I am going to discuss what how to concat or two or more than two columns in a table. So right here I am going to use employees table. So let's write the query select and here you can find select a star. So there is no any star HR employees. All fields, that's fine. Now here after let's select and execute. So this all or columns inside there. Now here after so I will combine add here email, post name, last name. So if you want then here you can combine job ID. This all those things. So how do we combine? So for this add here let's uh, uh, add here use this query. So this query that I already written to save some time. So add here creating the function with the name concat add here. So let's copy this query and you have to paste at this place. Now here after let's go at here. So select a star from so it will display all the columns. So add here create of replace function called cat. So add here first time and last time. So going to create add here one function with the name called cat one and here a string name name first name and last name. Now if I execute or uh, this uh, query, so add here function is created with the name concat one. Now here after request that, so add here function is created. So this function we can use add here different tables. So add here going to use add here employee or uh, HR employees tables. Now here after let's copy this one. And here after paste at this place. Now here concat function. So at your first name and last name, it's come from HR employees. So let's execute this query. So here you can see. So at your first name and last name. So here you can find first name and last name. So these two columns we are going to concatenate. So let's execute here. I did so display and first time and last time it's combined. Now here after you can or combine at here different tables, different columns at here. So here it's not necessary. You can give at here first time, last time. You can give at here email, email also. So let's use trouble cut and here fast. Press enter now here after execute here you can see center so even and first name that combined now here after so if you want then here you can combine more than two of columns so suppose if I here I have given the condition first name and last name so a string one and a string two now if you keep add here like go in double code going to use last name here. Now here if I execute this query so add here argument right related kind of error message that's on display. So we need to skip add here right number of argument. So if you want to combine three add here three columns so you should use this query. Now here after let's copy and execute first. Now here after execute now here it's executed now here after so do one thing let's uh, refresh at here s point key space now here you can see call character it's uh, created now here after so when I use this key on concat one function so it only accept two parameter now here concat two that accept three parameter now if i execute so it will keep at your right output combined first name email and last name so at here because at here concat two it has three parameters so that it to combine three now here after 
so it's not necessary you can give first name email last name so add here this all values are text tab so you can include only text or a string kind of value at this place okay so this is the simplest query to concat or two or more than two columns here yeah. so if you want to concatenate is integer type value so you should keep add here or decimal or id uu id or integer add here after that you can combine integer kind of value so i hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you